Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload applications onto your Oculus Quest. This will actually work for the Oculus Go as well. Little prerequisite for the Oculus Quest. In the box, you get a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. And that's fine when you're charging it because the wall socket has a USB Type-C port on there. And so does your Quest. But to connect it to your computer, unless you have a new computer, a new laptop or one of the new MacBooks, you are going to be needing a USB type C cable to regular USB on the other end. This is very common now with a lot of Android phones, so you can use that cable. It doesn't have to be a special USB type C to regular USB cable. Anyone will be fine, but you will need one of them. I'm using my OnePlus 6 cable, but anyone will be fine. Okay, so what you want to do is first go to Chrome. Yep, and go to Oculus dashboard you want to spell it correctly and i'll provide a link to everything that you will need and i mean you know login from here go to create new organization it says this is the name that will be displayed publicly on the store unless you're going to be using this for development doesn't actually matter what you call it but if you're just using it for side loading it doesn't matter so i'm just going to say epic 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 actually what if epic with a y is taken AKA the AMD server processors. Let's see. Maybe the minimum requirement on the NAND. But we'll see. We will see. Oh, no, he wasn't taken. I've got it now. Sorry, AMD. Actually, I wonder if AMD is taken. A bit random, but. And I'm going off on a tangent now. AMD must be taken. They must have taken it. Or somebody must have taken it. I wonder if Intel has taken it. Let me try this. Yeah. Let me try Apple. I know uh, this is the last one and it is taken unfortunately so once you've created that organization the next step is for us to go on to our you know phone so you can have an iOS device or an Android device I'm using Android but the process is exactly the same and let me start recording so you can actually see what we are doing and the whole purpose of this stage is to enable developer mode on our device Okay, so you can see my home screen now. Obviously, make sure you got the Oculus application. If you set up your device, then you probably have. And then you open that up. And then from here, you want to go to settings in the bottom right. And now you want to select your Oculus Quest. You'll you know, connect to it. Next, just click it again so it opens it up. Go to more settings. Go to developer mode. And enable this this is already enabled for me so it will look like this for you and then you click it again or click it for the first time and now developer mode is enabled and that's it that is all you have to do to enable developer mode so let me stop recording and there we go okay so that's all done on our phone the next stage is to download something called adb link and this will have the adb driver which is the Android development bridge driver which allows us to connect Android devices which you know the Oculus Quest and the Go is and it allows us to install APKs as well. So go down, click the Linux version. I've already got it downloaded. So open that folder up. I'm gonna just delete the one that I just downloaded. Open it up, right click, you know, extract here. You can use any extraction method that you want. Then in here we'll have something called ADB link. Double click that, Let's wait a few seconds and it will launch up. Okay, so it is a bit small. Let's have a look at the quick zoom feature that I can use. Probably will be in accessibility. Oh, that's a whole different application. Okay. You'll have to bear with me as long as you're on a reasonable size screen, you should be fine. But okay, so what we're gonna do now is connect our device. So I'm just about to connect my quest. As you can see, it's recognized that our quest has been connected. And now if I click refresh ADB, the device appears. If you get something about an unknown device, you might get something here unknown or unrecognized. That means you just haven't basically what you need to do, put your headset on. And it will ask 
do you want to allow this computer to have access just click the checkbox that says always and click confirm and that's it then refresh and then you'll basically get a you know some sort of serial number and then some sort of a connection as well okay so the next step to well, this is the final step really to install something you go to install apk uh, select your apk so for me it's in the download folder i've got quake vr so i'm going to open that up click install and it's going to start installing it so yeah quake is a small game so it doesn't take long to install now we can actually start you know playing it so let me show you how to do that so i'm going to put on my quest Let me start recording now. Okay, so you can see my screen, and from here, what you want to do is go to navigate, you want to go to library, go to unknown sources, and the game will appear here for me. It is Quake Quest. So if I click that, it will launch. There we go. We can shoot, which is really cool. We have six degrees of freedom as well with the controllers, as you uh, with the controller as you can see. And that is it. So I won't bore you any longer by playing it. So I'm gonna go back to sharing. Start recording, and there we go. Okay, so that's it. That is all you need to do to sideload applications onto your Oculus Quest or your Oculus Go using a linux based machine if you have any questions though feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video